Hi there, Granddad Got Mojo, and we're going to be talking about uh, a new uh, set of products that I'm about to release. These are musical products uh, for Sansar. So I'm basically trying to build fully featured uh, musical equipment for playing music in Sansar. And the first release is a looper and a mixer board. So we're going to go ahead and play with the looper and the mixer board and see how things work out. The first thing you'll notice is, is a mixer board here, or is a looper board. And it's got across the top, I'll go into first person here so we can see it better, is across the top it has the various sample packs that you can play. And for example, I'll click drums. I'll click drums, sorry. And you'll see the set of samples. So up to 40 samples uh, per sample pack right now. The, uh, what you'll do is you'll select a, uh, sample and play it so let's go look at one let's go in here uh, i don't want this one let's go i got a drums two see as you as you click different different sample packs the samples change so we'll go back to drums and if you click one i click technotanic it says hey choose a track choose a track uh, and i want to play it on track one and it'll take a second, depending on how long the sample is, to load. There it goes. And then you can... Uh, I'm going to go to bass. Uh, just pick one. I'll pick this one. And it says, choose a track. Another one, like uh, I'm gonna pick uh, some chords and I'll put it on three. Okay. Maybe some leads. Put him over in track four. Also a preview. If you click the preview, what you'll get is you'll only hear it. The audience won't. But you'll hear how it'll sound in the mix for yourself. So got a groove going there. And if you wanted to, let's say change the voice here to something less. You just click the track to replace it, so I'm going to put robotic over here. You hear the voice change. So you forgot what the tracks are playing what, if you mouse over or if you're on your uh, VR controller, it tells you what's playing where. So there's the looper playing for us. Now if we go over in here and look, this is a mixer where I can, by clicking on the strip, 
I can, again, if I loop over, I'm going to turn up the synth here. Or I can turn down the whole volume. And I'll turn down the whole volume of the mix, whole mix, if I want to. Every time the loop comes around, it'll do it. Now, the other thing I can do is, I could change the BPM, although it's kind of weird to change between songs, but, uh, I can go change the BPM. Eventually, it'll catch up. There it goes, at 120. <laughs> That's crazy. So, you can change the pan to spread the instruments out. It goes with the default pan. Uh, it's playing the instruments uh, at different positions. Uh, so, it basically works like a pan. Let's, let's go back to 100, because that's kind of a change, change of crazy. And then you could, let's say, if you want to get rid of the riser, you just click on these green buttons, and it uh, will kill the track. So it's like a mute if you can really click that. And that's it. The other is global and local. And that just changes between whether it's spatialized or it's across your whole experience. Like, I like it spatialized because then I can go ahead and use the hand controls. But that's uh, the first of my many modules that I have coming out in the next couple months. The, uh, including some riff generators, uh, some uh, composing software. So, 